The last 20 to 30 years has seen an insane advancement in technology. Everything is always being upgraded like AI voice to become new and improve with higher quality features. So can someone please explain after 14 years and millions and millions of dollars earned how Call of Duty titles still can't replicate the theatre mode we had in Black Ops 1? I'm Dead Epic and here are 10 things Treyarch need to add to the theatre mode in Black Ops 6. Subscribe. Number 10. Record every game. I know the game is new and still going through some bugs, but currently most Nuketown 24-7 playlist games, as well as some Nuketown private matches and just private matches in general, aren't being saved to theatre. It's a shame as if something noteworthy or fun happens in a match, it won't be seen by the community and become a nostalgic clip. Number 9. The private match issue. Similar to theatre mode, private match has been another half-assed attempt, as if there is a team on one side, the game will assume the team have forfeited and shut the game down. We've never had this before, and given in this codcaster you can't remove team heads-up display, it makes it harder to get crisp cinematics needed for videos. Number 8. Tracking objects. In Black Ops 3, if you threw any projectile in question, then you could lock onto it and follow the travel path. In Black Ops 6, you don't even get that luxury, which is funny because they sort of had that in the trailer. Anyway, the object doesn't even render, meaning if something insane happens like a grenade goes down the Nuketown chimney, you won't even notice it's happened. Really, this is an issue that needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Number 7. The Lighting in Black Ops 4, as bad as the game was, having the saving grace that you could add lights in theatre mode was actually pretty cool. This showed growth and gave editors another level of theatre from Black Ops 1. There are some dark areas on maps and ensuring that the soldier is well lit when travelling through a dark tunnel provides an extra enhancement on soldier cinematics. Number 6. Community Watch Parties one of my favourite things in Black Ops 1 was going to the community tab and checking out some of the community clips. Bear in mind the majority were ass, but there were some hidden gems that not only helped out creators but also made for fun watch parties. Just even one COD player showcasing their best work could help with player engagement, meeting new friends and other fun opportunities and would give Call of Duty that community feeling again. Number 5. Shorter Skip Intervals We currently have a theatre mode ability to skip between 30 second intervals, which is one of the things that actually works. That being said, 10 second intervals would help out creators a little more. Say for example I'd like to record footage that's happened between 25 and 35 seconds into the game, I have to rewind back around 20 to 25 seconds to then play with the bugged Black Ops 6 theatre mode. It's a lot more likely I am going to miss that key event, therefore I have to go all the way back to the start and fast forward again. Just having a shorter interval time or even a rewind button would help us all out. Number 4. Improved Speed Settings At one point we could play files at 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8 every multiple of 0.2 up until 4 and now we just have a basic 3 times speed setting one of which is bugged. You have to press 0.3 in first person then switch to the free cam to use it but then even the free cam itself goes into a 0.3 setting of its own. This just defeats the purpose of slowing footage down if the camera you use to record is too slow. Just feels like a bit more time and effort could have been added to this area. Number 3. Recording Clips we used to be able to record a clip from multiple perspectives and then edit that clip through a mini editing studio. Now when recording clips we just get a notification saying the clip will stop recording after 2 minutes or when you press stop. You don't even receive a notice saying the recorded has finished now, let alone having the chance to view it back and watch what you have actually recorded. Number 2. Saving Games even if it's just one game we would like to have saved and hold on to for future reference for like montages or how-to tutorials, we need a theatre mode save file. I can understand that in the next gen era there are more graphics to code and more memory, but even just saving one game mode would help us keep files for future reference. And number one, dolly cameras. I don't understand how in Black Ops 1 they got dolly cams, let alone the theatre mode, spot on. And ever since this, this feature has slowly been taken out of the game. I'm not a coding expert and I can understand that Black Ops 1 had a lot of issues with connection during the height of its popularity, but we have campaign packs, and multiplayer packs and warzone packs etc. Would it be that difficult to really give us a banging theatre mode pack that comes separately so that with creators you can promote your game through nostalgic montages and people who don't need the theatre mode don't have to have it installed, keeping the loyal fan base happy and keeping the regular players who don't need a theatre mode happy. Overall, in summary, Black Ops 6's theatre mode has just shown that more than how the game's gone forward, the game has gone so far back in retrospect. We've had 14 years and we've had such an advancement, I really can't comprehend how you can 
put a theatre mode in where you are limiting and restricting your loyal fans and creators with a chance to create such nostalgic videos. I mean, you look back at Black Ops 1 montages, Black Ops 2 montages, they got really good views because people could create more movies than you would just montages. And I'm um, rant over, I just think we need a, a Black Ops 1 theatre mode in Black Ops 6. That is more than what we need. This has just been so disappointing and such a lackluster feature to the game and I really hope Treyarch sort it out soon. But that has been this video. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Let me know what you would add to Black Ops 6 theatre mode. God knows it needs it. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Stay epic.